Hello, it's me, it's Anne. I'm back. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up my my once a week schedule. I'm aiming for Tuesdays. We'll see how that goes. There are things that go on in the real world, not YouTube, that sometimes get in my way. I have grandkids that live in this house. I have my son and his wife that live in this house. Me and the old man and the dogs. I'm a gamer. I'm a college student online, but a college student. I've got a year and a half to go to finish my bachelor's in English and creative writing. I'm a writer. So, yeah, I technically have a job when the work sells. Then I call it a job, otherwise it's a distraction. And trying to do the filming in between all this with some of my health issues is interesting. Yeah, that's a word for it. Interesting. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go take some of the people in the house to doctor's appointments because only a few of us in the house are able to drive at this point. And I'm one of them. And my grandson has a doctor's appointment. Now, part of this is a lead up to just doing a get ready with me on the quick. No, I'm not going to discuss too much about the brands. I will tell you this is the mini Juvia's place that uh, the mini Nubian that Nona sent me because I'm still having too much fun playing with all this stuff that Nona sent me. But the other thing that I'm working up to with this whole list of what my world is is when I first started this it'll be a year on the 28th of this month August 28th that my first film went on the YouTube and it was just a quick bio with a what I hope to do since then I have put up quite a few videos, including that huge challenge I did in December last year of doing 25 days of Christmas. Oh, I was tired. And it was hard to do because of everything else I was trying to do. And I was in fact, pretty well exhausted by the time I got to the far end of that. And I wasn't happy. So I slowed down. Because I felt like I really needed to. I found myself in kind of an unhappy place again but not with doing the filming because I'm enjoying my current speed of filming and all of the collabs and those wonderful things. The collaborations have been just an absolute delight. And one or two of them are my definite favorites. And I'm enjoying all of the people that I've met doing this. I'm not kidding. Even people that I'm not collaborating with or who don't do their own videos. 
I am having a lovely time conversing with everybody. I think it's great. However, when I looked at my email the other day, for all the people I try to keep up with, on YouTube to make sure I'm showing my support and all that stuff for all the people who support me. I've got... I opened my email and there were over 200 films that were in queue because some of the people I hang out with are kind of prolific about it. They really, really do a lot of films. They're doing films, sometimes more than one a day, because they've got so much going on. And I looked at that, and it actually scared me a little bit. Because I know, no matter what I do, or how hard I try, I know I'm not going to be able to keep up with doing a good job of watching these films. Okay, this is the pure that Nona sent me. I'm pulling one color out of it. I'm not going to be able to keep up with all these films and making comments and all of that like I feel I want to but I just I had a panic attack okay I have a few issues with medication uh, <laughs> because I do have some health issues that include mental health issues but seeing that much that I was behind on because there was one day that I didn't check my email I flipped and I'm going I can't do this I can't do that. I was ready to quit quit just because I felt like I was letting everybody else down that has been so supportive of me in all of this because I wasn't able to get to everybody's film to comment and everything. Now, there are a lot of people that don't know me from Adam's house cat that I follow that mostly just get a thumbs up and if I've got it running in the background, they get their time, but I'll have it running in the background listening half, half doing while I'm studying or something. And I do check out the looks. So if I tell them they've got a great look or tell them that, that thanks for the info or something, I really did get something out of it. I'm not just blowing sunshine up their butt. But I have come to realize that what I used to do when I first got started with this, where I was mainly sticking to the first group of people I was invited to be part of, which is the Dirty Half Dozen collaboration group that I've got 
most of the people listed on my page in the description all the time. You know, Anya Stamper and Valerie from Gimme Lippinmore and Daniel Burstenberger from Glamberger and Leanne Serreo and Allison Krause. For the most part, it was easy to keep up with that small group doing the, the watch every film, comment much on every film, all of that. And I have found that I have fallen behind even in taking care of my firsties and besties from that group. So, this is kind of an explanation for everybody. No, I'm not... I'm not ignoring you. But I've only got so many hours in a day. But I'm really not ignoring you. Not at all. Not even a little. I am doing my best to keep up with everybody. You may only get a thumbs up. You may not get a big comment on every film. I am watching you. I really am. I enjoy watching everybody, but I can't go back to what I used to do because at this point I've got a great many more people that I talk to that I'm watching that I collaborate with and it's spreading things out so that not everybody gets tons of attention the way I used to be able to do. Which I enjoyed, but like I said, it takes some time. Any of you who are doing YouTube as a full-time thing knows how much time this takes and knows that you can't always keep up with people other than yourself sometimes to keep things moving. Now I've got tons of people that I try to keep track of and I try my best to see at least one film by everybody every week. That doesn't always add up to all the films that they put out because some people are every blessed day. But I do try to keep up as much as possible. a little silver here in the corner because I feel like being silver here in the corner and then I'm going to drop off of here for a few minutes and finish this up I don't know maybe I'll let you see the whole thing since it's a get ready with me still I'm still not going to tell everybody what it is I'm doing with all of the products because 
I'm having issues with some of the product makers. Now, all I've got on my face is my moisturizer and sunscreen. And I'm using some cream products on my mug just to do a little bit of something something. And then once I get finished with this little bit of something something, I'm going to put a little face powder over it because it's hot weather. Yes, I know, I've got sleeves on, but sometimes you just gotta. Get stuff blended down here just a little bit. Yes, I'm using an eye brush on this because I don't really have that many face brushes that are stiff enough to do the creams with. And this one happens to be one that I can get away with. I need to get a couple more face brushes that I can do this with. AOA, here I come. love my AOA studio brushes. A buck is a buck. Anyway. Got that bit. Do this bit real quick. I'm not putting a lot of eyebrow on because if I start sweating it'll be gone anyway. Right into the back of my glasses. Uh, this is one of my just, okay, I got to go to the doctor's offices and that kind of thing, run a few errands with my son. And his son, since that's who's going to the doctor, his son, not doing glamity glam it's more like whammity wham yeah this skinny little thing is the master precise skinny for Maybelline I'll tell you that much just because people are going to ask me. And this is just your basic felt pen. And it's in a kind of a purpley color because that's the one I yanked out of the drawer. And no, you don't have to do all of this in one fell swoop. Or even a swell foop. For any of you Douglas Adams fans.
I have to kind of be careful with the blush because I've already got problems with, with a lot of red on my cheeks anyway. Get it kind of blended down here so that bronzer is not just kind of hanging in space. Ooh. Yes, that thing on the side of my head that comes from the CPAP mask is healing, but Yes, it's still there. So is my tattoo. See, my tattoo is still there. And she is still looking beautiful. Little concealer on the spot. A little bit of glitter. Yep. Yep. Got to put a little highlight. Yes, I'm doing a lot of cream stuff. It's sitting right on the moisturizer. It's not a big deal. A little bit of a pinky kind of glitz. A little bit down the nose. No, I'm not worried that it's going to get dusted down by the powder. I'm just not. It's the powder. Oh, man. Good thing this thing is panned. The lid just broke. See, because I'm just kind of tapping the powder on. Kind of to collect the sweat a little. Basic finishing powder. Doing anything with the hair today? No. Not. See, it broke. It broke right off. And again, I've had it forever. It takes forever to use up one of those little elf powders. It really does. No, I don't always curl my lashes. I just stick some mascara on them and go, look, you can see that I have lashes. See, I have lashes. People can now see that I have lashes. See, that's one of the things about being born blonde, way blonde, is the rest of the face hair doesn't always darken up near as much as the head hair. And this head hair, even this short stuff, as soon as I get out in the sunlight, it starts to bleach. Okay. I 
It doesn't get as light as it used to, but it does start to bleach. Now, this gloss is one that came in the Ipsy. It's a 100% vegan lip gel. Tastes absolutely divine. It's called Berry and Juice. Seraphine Botanicals. And this is in Rose Current. Which doesn't actually look like anything. Usually on the camera. It just doesn't look like anything. I'm just leaving my hair do what it wants to do. It's fresh out of the shower, so no big deal. No, I don't take out the little hoops when I put the other earrings on. I just don't. The little hoops stay there. Why? I don't know. It's just something I have apparently started just doing and, and going on about. Anyway. Yes, the upper hole has two little hoops in it. Lower hole has one little hoop in it. And I occasionally throw some basic studs into the upper holes or sometimes I get really uppity and put something like that in there. It depends. Let's see how they're doing today. I've been thinking about getting the lower ones stretched a little. I've been looking at it because like Nikki Raven, I sometimes have a little problem with the quality of the metal that I get my earrings in because they're not expensive earrings. And I sometimes have problems. And I'm going, if I stretch it and put a small tunnel in, I alleviate some problems. Because then I don't have, I've got decent metal in the, for the tunnel touching the actual skin and then the less expensive metal is resting on the interior of the tunnel. There. Now, I don't know how much of this shirt you can see, but this is one of my thrift store finds. And I've got a skirt that's got all these colors in it. That was another thrift store find. I still have to do a haul with all of my most recent thrift store stuff. Other thing I've done. This was cheap. Okay. This was an inexpensive version of the little ped tracker. I've done 513 steps so far today. This one was not expensive. It doesn't do a lot. It doesn't like report to half of the world. It does link up with your cell phone so you can program it to suit you. But there we go. Tell me what you think. And please, please, if you're one of the people I follow, please. I'm not neglecting you. I'm really not. I am watching your stuff. Maybe not everyone, but I'm watching your stuff. And the ones that I watch get your full time. 
and like I've done with with Nikki Raven because it was one of her suggestions is at least leave an emoji in a message on a comment to let her know that you've watched the whole thing now granted some of you I watch at much faster speeds not just because it maybe is like a long video but I condense them as much as I can so that I can get through more of them anyway I love you all I really do I'm gonna keep going I really am and I'm going to try not to freak out the next time I check my email. Be good.